Welcome back everybody, once again this is Granky, your host for today And we are back on Feed the Creeper Where I solved a couple of my problems um, Last time we saw each other um, you, know, you knew I was trying to get another book Like this To uh, eventually go back to spawn and link um, and link my base to, to the spawn mistcraft hub, uh, so to speak. Uh, and well, one of the problems I had doing that is that I was uh, I ran out of a black dye. I couldn't make some. I couldn't make more ink to make the linking panels. And look at this! I have solved my problems. I went on a little bit of a trip. And I came back with some um, black saplings and some uh, black tr black tree dye. So what those do is you have you have them for all colored. I think that's a lime one uh, over there. You have that for all all kinds of um, colors. You you get saplings like this, and they grow tree with any kind of wood, which means we have like hopseed wood, sakura wood, and sorting wood. Uh, so it takes any kind of wood, it grows a, th uh, a tree, um, all of it, and and then if you harvest the leaves, you you, you have a chance to get uh, a dye and or another of these colored saplings. So that means I won't ever probably need more black dye because if I'm careful and if I can manage to uh, keep always a couple of saplings around, well I'm. I could just, you know, uh, farm them and get as many uh, dyes as I want with the added benefits of having some rare types of wood. Uh, that's that's always cool for building, so that's the first thing I wanted to tell you and that's something I'm very proud of. The other problems we have when using this is, you remember, we put a dye uh, uh, ink vial there and then we need to put pulverized gold in that which is all well and good because we can get the pulverized gold from this but this thing it's running out of water which means we need we need to supply it water so you see I've made myself a little uh, area there because today we are going to create water and by using a machine, you probably guessed what it is. It's an Aquarius accumulator. Oh, I typed that right the first time. So that's what that's what we are going to make. So we need glass, a machine frame, pneumatic servo, which is iron, redstone, and glass. So that's okay there. And uh, the tin gear, which is an upgrade of the stone gear, which is an upgrade of the wood gear. So I'm guessing we start. So it's. We'll start about crafting, but not the whole episode is going to be about crafting. So we need two of the things, right? Yeah, right. That's it. So, okay. So here we go. Here we have a wooden gear. Does this work with smooth stone? We'll see. It doesn't. So that means that we have to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That, that, that's pretty random, like having to... <laughs> Actually, since my main pick is not making uh, cobblestone, but smooth stone, I'm, I'm forced to, you know, just grab me some cobblestone, especially when I need it. So we have the stone gears and the stone gear... Oh, well, I need the tin. The tin is there. We can now easily make the tin gear and I think uh, oh, there we go there we go we have two tin gears um, I think we, we will need some iron too so I'm going to uh, put some in there so what we needed is was glass oh yeah iron I'm almost out of it uh, so what did we need we did the servo thing no the servo thing is this if I remember correctly and a redstone, so that's yep, that's a pneumatic servo. We're almost there. We now need a machine frame, which is one gold ingot and four irons. So do we have? No, not yet. Almost. 
I'm getting one more and then I'm putting the gold in which I must be careful not to pulverize I, I did pulverize my ingots <laughs> because I wanted to make some more Lincoln panels uh, hopefully one of the ones I made uh, is going to fulfill its intended purpose and make me an intra linking book I didn't see it in the modifiers uh, so I'm not quite sure how this, go this is going to work oh, well, here we go and you know what let's cook some meat while we are at it so what we need is this this and this to get one of the machine frames and I think now we're ready to that's not the right place that's the right place we now need to simply assemble our machine and a bucket which I have there there we go and actually you know what it's well and good to I, I need more iron because I will need at least another bucket for this so that's that's well well that's what happens when you're not as prepared as you want it to be I wonder can I do this like if I do this this is going to generate does it generate ah uh, it generates it right here so okay so you see we have an orange uh, okay I need the configuration things like where is this okay so the back side is or or is that the back that's the back side, right? Uh, what we will want to have is have the... Oh, does, doesn't that work anymore? Okay, I'm not I'm not really sure how that works, but what happens is this is generating very slowly some water. And I'm going to place source water source blocks around it just to uh, increase the speed at which the, um, the machine creates water so that's basically making an automated infinite water source uh, that's what it is so I think if I do this ping I think this is going to go much fast well I need to check this one but that's not working yet why does that work better Not sure, but this seems to be consuming the the water as soon as it comes in. So maybe I should remove this, and at some point we we'll lose. Oh, and this this is not working anymore, which is why. So let's pulverize this. So we deplete the steam, and when it's done, we should be able to see if the the aqueous accumulator does its job but while it's doing that I'm going to put a couple more uh, whoop, couple more buckets of water or source blocks around it uh, so yeah but I can in I can put some dirt as long as we are making temporary installations there okay so does, does that make any kind of difference yeah you see this is now generating water quicker than before which is pretty good this is still working but not not for long not for long this is depleting not it's not I, I, I'm, I'm really not sure all these things work so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then we'll see if we see any increase in but at least I see the millibuckets there that go go up go, oop, no so I need this I, oh yes this is going this is going much faster now you see that this is creating water probably faster than this thing yeah so this thing is now full and you see like ping pong 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 that that goes that's go that goes quick so we now have water filling or uh steam dynamo uh automatically so that's cool we just now we just need to um 
Yeah, okay, nice and nice. We just need to give him some uh, solid fuel and it will keep going. So that's that's the first thing that's uh, that's done for <laughs> today, I guess. Uh, and yeah, I think I think that's going to be it for our first part so we solved uh, the we almost completely solved this now we need a constant source of uh, fuel which probably will mean some kind of tree farm and I'm not sure yet how I'm going to do that I need to do some research on how to automate the creation of any kind of solid fuel and I guess our the second part of our um, little adventure is going to be the road back to spawn and the suspense to see if all linking books have worked. So uh, I'm going to s stop here and I'll see you guys as soon as I am ready to venture on. And we're back. It's now day and we s you see where we are. We are above our little... Yeah, our little... <laughs> That's right, uh, a little place there, and we are going this way, which is uh, south. Um, and yeah, I kind of wanted to to make the trip with you guys. I'm not sure I'm going to make it all. Uh, I might skip ahead at some point uh, if I get lost or something. I shouldn't be. Oop, man, frame rate issues there. Um, but I really wanted to showcase uh, the um, the world generation, actually. Oh man, I, I thought uh, the sun was already setting, I was like, eh. Because we have uh, the alternate terrain generation mod going on there. Oh, Portobello. Uh, and it, it creates such great landscape. I'm in love with it. I love the the variations in height and like the rolling parts of the landscape it's it's just great and by the way this is a roguelike dungeon thingy which i think has been conquered already by one of my fellow server mates um and yeah so i'm not going to go in there if you're, you were wondering so this is a barley field which is a very pretty biome well I mean sunflower plains probably and this is a bally field but this looks so good I just I don't know why I just love the, the mood that these biomes g give off and here you have another biome which I almost decided to call home for a while uh, which is I don't remember the name it's so oh I was in the pasture meadow and this is some kind of rain for still tropics no it's the tropics and I also like the um, whoop. wow wow there I also like the the look of these but oh man that's not good that those those things are bad news uh oh well well I need to try and not get their attentions <laughs> that's another of those die trees so let's run through this hopefully no one noticed noticed me you haven't seen me no you haven't seen me so I think I think those this uh, region looks very cool like the especially since there's some kind of savanna uh, whoop, just next to it like the this hill with the the big trees there, I, I think it looks pretty interesting. Uh, and you see, this is a typical example of what I meant with the the terrain generation in in ATG. It's it's looking smoother, like more natural uh, than than regular Minecraft, and really, really, real digging it. And I think it's a great match with Biomes of Plenty, actually. Um, because, you know, sometimes it's great to have... Oh, look at this. This is... I came from this this, this direction. I was like, oh, I just... I need this. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, th I think that Extreme Generation, you know, is pretty great. I mean, uh, I do play on the 2Crafty server. 
uh, which is amplified by the way uh, and even though it's still vanilla I mean I just love the sheer cliffs and all the the crazy 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 generation you can uh, you can get in these in that in that in these settings uh, but sometimes just sometimes oh, nether wreck oh that's some asteroids that 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 fell down uh, but yeah sometimes I just you'd rather have a whoop uh some more natural uh terrain i just think it breaks up the 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 monotony also of the game and uh oh oh we're on the right track i guess because this is the home of what is that what is that Ooh. i don't know what's happened there but i think oop this is uh the hose of it's Moshmo's house, or one of his house. I don't know if it's if it's the only one, uh, but yeah. But let's let's continue on our journey. Let's let's have a look at the coordinates. So uh, yeah, so I think we kind of need to go that way. Some endstone there um, to try and find a way back to spawn, and yeah, it's it's different I know I, I should be making machines and making automation stuff but I really think that modern Minecraft is as much about oh it's an oil field or something it's as much as uh, about the mods and uh, the gameplay the direct gameplay feature I mean they they had like for example like today I was I was uh, working with the um, the water generation there with the the, spe the specific machine but it's also about the the terrain and the world they give you to play uh, in um, but speaking of gameplay feature or oh, is that oh no it's only new so it's not the it's not the sun going down yet it's just the the biome giving a weird sky um sky color but uh this is starting to get n unfamiliar to me which is not a good a good feeling when you're oh <laughs> and i'm back uh apparently i i got kicked out of the server like it it crashed well, I, I think it's my client that crashed but uh, I got an end of stream error, so mm -hmm, I'm here, and I lost my train of thoughts. Uh, I think I was speaking about, oops, the the no, I, I I was no, I think I think I was almost done with my current thoughts, right? Like I I knew that the the strange. Um, light was because of the biome and not because of the of the yeah, the sun going down so that it's okay hopefully we will make it oh and this is another great 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 biome uh, this is this is a bamboo forest and that's another one of the ones I was like ah oh, maybe this could be a good idea um because I love the look of those, but yeah, maybe maybe later down the road or something there's going to be a, a place for me, one of these, because I just love the look of it. That's that's basically it. And let me let me check my coordinates actually. So I am closing in on the spawn, right? Yeah, I think I think I think we should I think we just need to follow this coast and we'll we'll make it there. I see a jungly type of biome which seems yeah it's some kind of rainforest thing. Which is probably what we are looking for since the spawn is in one such biome. So I think we're we're almost there now. Oh and I'm almost starving. Let me Eat some steak there, some tasty steak. 
Okay, I can now run and I will I'll, I'll try to follow the coast so that I can I sure hope my linking books are going to work because else <laughs> That would be pretty bad and uh oh I see I see that we the the Sun is going down so it's almost it's soon going to become pretty dangerous around here Hopefully we can make it, let me take my sword. Hopefully we can make it before it becomes... Oh, no, 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 what did I do? Oh, what's, what's that? That's mud. Well, mud, thank you very much. Um, am I still on the right coast now? That's, <laughs> that's going to be the big question, but so this leisurely stroll through the world is probably going to become oh I see cobblestone always a oop, ruby or always a good ah oh, there we go we are back at spawn so that's that's nice yeah but whoo Okay, so let let let's. Oh boy, what is this big, big huge thing? I don't know, and I will, I will check later if I can actually show. Ooh, man, people have been doing work since last time I've came by this this place. So this is kind of our starting area uh, here. I think this is supposed to become the death scoreboard, like, uh, <laughs> that's, that's really cool, <laughs> I love those walruses, um, and I think in here, um, Thor's Rock Shop, Lone Pine Mall, ah, there's a mall somewhere, I need to, to know that. Uh, to know where that is, uh, so here is uh, everyone's kind of, I guess, mailbox. It's, uh, so you have like audio modified daily banana drafter, ITA Moshmo Mausix Run Quest LP Thor, twelve zero twenty-two Winter eccentric. And I guess there's not much room there. There's, I, sh I don't know if I, maybe I will. I don't know if I if there's some place somewhere where I can that I can use, but I don't want everyone to have to move their stuff. So yeah, talk to them about this. Um, now to find the Mistcraft Hub. This is uh, this is not a tree farm. This looks like a Tomecraft room. So that's not it. I need to find a. Mistcraft book. Ah, I think maybe this is it. Is this it? Who died here? What? Graphoniac? Oh, was she here for for a while? That's weird. Um. So is this is this here? So it's going to be me bumbling around trying to. F no, that that looks like a. Oh, that's kind of look like a mine, but auto cactus farm. No, that's the mine. That's not. That is no Mistcraft. Mistcraft book storage thingy. <laughs> That's just great. Um, uh, cruel sleeping quarter. That's not it. That's the pub for the the um, publicity for the rock. We uh, I see there. That's not what we want. Yeah. Is there a mistcraft? I know the I no wait I came here one once already and I I know all weapons red uh huh. I'm sure there is there is a ah uh, maybe mistcraft so this is the mistcraft room I think we have there's one let me take something off my Ooh, I don't know what's happening. Oh, I strength. Daily banana the void. Uh, and I don't know. So, new Miscraft hub. Okay. So, I guess we can go there. 
In the floating island? Oh boy. So I'm guessing this is claim your space now, it's limited and cheap. Now open Lone Pine Mall and Crap Emporium. Oh! So that's something we're going to have to check out next time. But let's let's first see if we can do this. Oh! Floating Island. Yeah, this worked. Uh, okay, and this is Overworld. So, would you modify it? So we have a, a Critterius Park and Ski Resort. Count Drafter Sky Home, Mousy's Tower, Winter's Tree. I don't know whose banner it is. Uh, Moshmo Secret Blood Magic Area, Moshmo's Dual Wet Mood Base, Moshmo Another Access, The Wither are Arena, <laughs> Me Falling Down a Stair, This Mushroom Mining, Eccentrics, Uber Mob Spawner. Okay, so, uh, a spawn base. I guess I can just. I don't know. Is that. No, I. S I don't see any contour indication. I'm guessing that I can just put mine here, right? Does, does that work like this? Overworld. I wonder if I can I can name those or something. Um, like rather than Star Wars. So the, the other ones managed to name them Draft and Sky Dome. So apparently I'm just super dumb and I cannot name my books, but uh, that's okay. Um, I'm going to... Wait, what? 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 what, what? Oh, that's my folding island linking book. Okay, uh, so I that I will I have to ask around to see. I have a, a, another one, so uh, let's at least see that... Um, where am I there? Yeah, no, how you are here, but oh, but well, you know what? I wanted to make a sign, but I can just. Where did I put it? No, I think mine was there, right? No, it's there, right? I think it's there. So let me up. Yeah, we we did it. We came back to our home, and. I guess I can put this one around here somewhere temporarily and put my other linking book. Grab a sign. Uh, I, ooh, I have spotted some and go back from whence we came. And by the way, I know wh why there was durability there. Apparently, it's because I punched the book in the first episode. Apparently that's why. And yes, we came back here, so we are now officially linked. Uh, ooh, here you are, spiders. Uh, no, that's not mine. That's, mine is there. Oh man, I need to remember this. Um, so let's 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 do some fancy. Grungies processing no <laughs> I don't know well I, I I'm going to do this uh, because I know what I want to do uh, you know what what I should do I should do and 2014. Oh, can can I? No, that that was not fit, right? Well, let's let's just do let's just do that. Let's just do some non fancy. Oh man, I cannot type. Yeah, no, that's the one I want. Man, the spider is freaking me out. Done. Done. And right now, it's not much of a processing company. Can Go back there. So I need to understand how I can. Maybe I can just name them with a, an anvil. But here we are. We are now linked to spawn finally. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this little, uh, well, varied episode. More 
so showing you guys around, seeing how far I am uh, from spawn, seeing the, the gorgeous terrain that we have, and we next time we'll be working on some more machines and probably s start s get some building done around here. Uh, so yeah, look forward to that. I sure am. And well, that was Grungy also today. And I hope you enjoyed and I will see you around.